Hi guys, so here we have another material balance problem involving multiple units. So we're going to answer this question coming from Basic Principles and Calculations in Chemical Engineering 6th edition by David M. Himmelblue. So this is additional dun sa mga nasold na natin previously about material balance for multiple units. No? Okay, so let us now read our problem and this is uh, on problem 11.8, no? So, figure P11.8 shows a semantic of making fresh water from seawater by freezing. Okay, so ito yung ating process. Uh, it is making fresh water from seawater by freezing. Yan yung ating process, no? So, the pre-killed seawater is sprayed into a vacuum at a low pressure. Ito yung ating feed, which is a uh, chilled seawater. The cooling required to freeze some of the feed seawater comes from evaporation of a fraction of the water entering the chamber. So that is why meron tayo ditong flash freezer. No? The concentration of the brine stream B is 4.8% salt. Ito yung ating stream B. And according to our problem, the concentration of our stream B is having 4.8% salt. So nakasulat na yan dito. We have 4.8% sodium chloride. So, we have ice plus brine here with concentration 4.8% sodium chloride. So, the pure salt-free water, water vapor is compressed and fed to a melter at a higher pressure where the heat of condensation of the vapor is removed through the heat fusion of the ice which contains no salt. Ito yung ating pure water na sinasabi dun sa ating problem, no? So, kinocompress natin itong ating pure salt-free water. So, ito yon Kaya meron tayo ditong compressor. So, so from our freezer, meron tayong dalawang stream. Isa is pure water vapor and isa naman is yung ating brine, no? Yung merong salt. Now, as a result, pure cold water and concentrated brine, 6.9% leave the process as products. So, okay, may kita natin dito. Meron tayong dalawang product. Yung isa, Pure fresh chilled water, ito yung W natin, stream W. At meron tayong stream D, which is chilled brine, na merong 6.9% sodium chloride. So, as you can see, yung pumapasok, 3.45% sodium chloride, and then yung ating lumalabas is concentrated na siya, 6.9% salt. Okay? So, ano yung kailangan natin kunin dito sa ating problem? We need to determine the flow rates of streams W, D, uh, if the feed is 1,000 kg per hour. So, kaya ang ating feed dito is 1,000 kg per hour. So, kailangan nating malaman kung ano yung flow rate ng ating W at yung flow rate ng ating D. If our feed is 1,000 kg per hour, yung kanilang flow rate. So, and also, we need to determine the flow rates of stream C, B, A per hour. So, A, C, and B, kailangan din natin malaman yung kanilang flow rates. So, pag tinignan ninyo yung back ng ating libro, itong ating uh, basic principles and calculation in chemical engineering, kapag tinignan niya sa likod, may kita na ninyo, may sagot na siya, no? The answer for 11.8 is W is 500, D is 500, A is 281, B is 719, and C is 219. So, walang solution yan. Makikita lang ninyo yung sagot sa likuran. So, ang ipapakita natin sa inyo ngayon is yung solution. Ba paano nakuha itong mga sagot na to? Okay? So, alam na natin. So, nilagay ko lang dito ng mas malaki yung ating diagram para sa gagawin nating calculation. So, we should not forget, ang kailangan nating makuha is yung mga value ng ating mga streams, yung flow rate. So, we need to get the value of W, the value of D, the value of C, the value of A, and the value of B. Okay? So, kailangan natin niyang makuha. And as you can see nga, no, sa tanong natin, determine the flow rates of stream C, B, and A per R. So, kailangan natin makuha yung flow rates per R. And our feed also is uh, given 1,000 kg per R. So, nasa per R lagi yung ating mga flow rates. So, so it is just logical to have our basis as 1R operation, di ba? So, if you have 1R operation, so, makukuha na kagad natin itong ating feed rate, no? So, our feed, so let's say our feed is F. Kasi walang binigay na 
variable para sa ating feed. So, let's name our feed as f. Okay? So, our f is having a rate of 1,000 kilogram per hour. Okay? So, 1,000 kilogram per hour. So, our basis is 1 hour. So, that means, okay, our feed is equal to 1,000 kilogram. Right? So, ito yung basis natin, 1 hour operation. So, ang una natin gagawin is to get the overall material balance, no? So, we have to get our OMB. So, if we take the OMB, may kita natin ang pumapasok is only our feed. So, we have our feed F, which is equal to lahat ng lumalabas sa ating system. And as you can see, sa ating system, dalawa lang naman yung lumalabas. We have W and D. So, that means our F is equal to W plus D. Alright, so now ito yung ating overall material balance. And we know that our F is equal to 1,000. So we have 1,000 is equal to W plus D. Okay, so now let us have a component balance dito sa ating overall. No? So we have overall salt balance. No? Gawa tayo ng overall salt balance. Okay, so paano natin malalaman kung ano yung salt natin? Given naman actually kung gano'ng karami or ilang percent ng ating salt sa ating feed. So our feed have 3.45% salt. So that means for our feed we have 0 0.0345 of our feed. Okay, which is equal to because 3.45% lang siya, no? Uh, dito sa ating W, wala tayong um, salt, di ba? So, it will be 0. So, 0 times W plus. And dito sa ating D, meron tayong 6.9% na sodium chloride. So, from here we have, again, sorry, 6.9%. So, we have 0 0.069% of D. Okay? So, since we know this is 0, Wala na yan, ano? So, we can just remove that from our equation. So, we know our F is equal to 1,000. So, we have 0 0.0345 times 1,000 is equal to 0 0.069 times D. Therefore, our D is equal to um, 0 0.0345 times 1,000 divided by 0 0.069. So, our D is equal to, let us use our calculator. Okay, so we have 0 0.0345 times 1000 divided by 0 0.069. So, we have 500. So, we have here 500 kilogram. Okay? So, uh, meron na tayong value ng D which is 500. So, we know that this is uh, per hour because our basis is 1 hour, di ba? So, therefore, our D is equal to 500 kilogram per hour. And because alam natin yung ating overall material balance, 1000 is equal to W plus D, we can also get the value of our W. So, let's just write here from our overall material balance. From our overall material balance, we can now get uh, our 1,000 is equal to W plus D, di ba? Yan yung nakuha natin kanina. So, alam na natin yung value ng D. So, therefore, our W is equal to 1,000 minus D. What is our D? 500. So, therefore, our W is equal to 500 kilogram per hour. Okay, so, nakuha na natin yung ating D, which is 500, and nakuha na rin yung ating W, which is 500. So, nakuha na natin tong mga ibinigay ditong sagot. W is equal to 500, and D is equal to 500. So, ang kailangan na lang natin makuha ngayon is yung flow rate ng ating streams A, B, and C. So, simulan natin dito sa ating fresh freezer, no? So, in our fresh freezer, let us have 
um, material balance dito sa ating flash freezer, I mean. So, let us have our balance in flash freezer. Okay? So, ano yung pumapasok sa ating flash freezer? Pumapasok is still our feed, which is F. Okay? So, we have F is equal to uh, stream B and stream A. Okay, so this means our F is equal to B plus A. Okay, so alam na natin yung F which is 1000 is equal to B plus A. Alright, so hindi pa natin alam yung B and A. So the next na gagawin natin is salt balance sa ating flash freezer. No? So salt balance in salt freezer. Okay, so, alam natin that in our stream A, pure water to. So, walang salt yan. So, ang may salt lang is yung F and B. Okay, so, simulan uli natin sa ating feed. Meron tayong 3.45% ng sodium chloride. So, we have 0.0345 of our F is equal to, so, sa ating A, 0. Sabi na natin, no, 0 times A. Then, plus, in our B, meron naman tayong 4.8% sodium chloride. So, 4.8% is 0.048 of our B. Okay? So, 0 na to. We'll just have to cancel that. So, alam natin that our F is equal to 1,000. So, 0 0.0345 times 1,000 is equal to 0 0.048 times B. Okay? So, kailangan nating makuha yung value ng B. B is equal to 0 0.0345 times 1,000 divided by 0 0.048. So, ano yung magiging value ng ating B? Let us use our calculator. So, we have 0 0.0345 times 1,000 divided by 0 0.048 and this is equal to 718.75 kilogram. And since we have a basis of 1 hour, so this will be kilogram per hour. Diba? So, alam na natin yung B. So, that means makukuha na rin natin yung A. So, we're going to use this equation. 1,000 is equal to B plus A, di ba? So, alam na natin yung B, so therefore, makuha natin yung A. So, our A is equal to 1,000 minus um, our B, which is 718.75. So, our A is equal to, gamitin natin yung calculator, we have 1,000 minus our previous answer. We have 281.25. Kilogram. So, per hour because this is our basis. So, tignan natin kung tama ba to. Our B is 718.75 kilogram per hour. So, tignan natin. 718. Okay, so, uh, this already rounded off. So, therefore, tama yung naging sagot natin. Ano? 719. So, we have 718.75. Samantalang for our stream A, we have... 281.25 So, 281.25 So, tama rin yung naging sagot natin. So, ang di na lang natin alam is itong stream C natin. So, how are we going to get our stream C? So, ito yung ating stream C, no? So, kung may kita ninyo, alam na natin yung um, value ng B and yung value ng D. So, ang di na lang natin alam is itong value ng C. So, that means if we are going to have a balance in our filter, we will be able to get itong um, value ng ating stream C. So, let us do that. Ang pumapasok is B, lumalabas is C and D. Okay? So, let us have a balance in our filter. Balance in filter. So, dito sa ating filter, ang pumapasok is B at ang lumalabas is C and D. D. 
So we already know the value of P, di ba? And we know the value of D. So we can isolate our C dahil yan ang ating kailangan makuha. So our C is equal to B minus D. So our C is equal to our B which is, an yung value ng B natin? 718.75. Minus yung value ng ating D. So, what's the value of our D? Our D is 500 kilogram per R. So, we have here 500. So, subtracting this, we have C which is equal to 718.75 minus 500. So, we have 218.75 kilogram per R because we have a basis of 1 hour. So, tama ba yung sagot natin? 218.75. So, here we have 219 because this is already rounded up. So, therefore, we already got all of our answer now. So, this is how we calculate for each stream sa um, mater ng material balance natin if we have multiple units. Okay? So, na-compare natin siya dito sa ating answer na makikita sa likod ng himmel blue and our answer are matching to these answers. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.